Really, one of my favorites. Yeah, then we got Alphas that he did for Bill Bain, 77 Science Fiction Dramatic Thriller. He did Fruit of Gods for Bernard Gordon, 76 Science Fiction Horror Thriller, loosely based on the H.G. Wells story. So we got that. And Darby Hinton, know him too. I'm not going to look at him, but he's. That's the, of course, that, I bet that Kevin Peter also sci fi movie did 80 without warning. Prophecy, uncredited, mutant bear. Is that the one Tom was talking about that he was into? He said it wasn't a very good movie, it had some interesting things in it. Let me look at this whole cast to make sure this is the movie that he was talking about. He's gonna try to sit there, he's. Of course, they let she left the light on some people who think she's home, so they don't bother the places. People like to rob the places and shit. So, uh, He's getting ready to go to bed, Alan, here. I'm you coming upstairs? I'll be right up. I just want to finish this job. Oh, Alice Berman Jr., Tom Berman's son. Then Thomas R. Berman's the full name, the one that headed the team on the special makeup effects and the effects. Yep, he did the special makeup design. Berman, Tom, Berman Studio, special makeup manufacturer. Berman Studio, if he did all it, his son. I don't see Tom McLaughlin's name here. I thought he played the mutant bear with Kevin Peter Hall. They both. Maybe I'm wrong. I thought he said something about that. So the movie is, wasn't that great, but it had some interesting things in it. Let me look at Tom McLaughlin and see if that's really real quick. Now she's going to play this tape, and he went to bed. And this. About the explanation about her father and all, this, all the um, studies she did with her father. I'm still on Kevin Peter Hall. Let me go back here. Push for about 42 minutes into this film here. Look up Tom though. Let's see if. See if he. Uh, did that movie prophecy is an actor herself or an actor? Let me see this. Does he have his name here? I don't understand that. I thought he said he did that. Well, maybe I'll have to check. I'm, I'm, I don't understand. I don't know. Maybe he was just there when he made. I don't know. I, I forget that exactly. I don't know well, but he did some good stuff here. You say he did real serial killers later on TV movies and made money. He mentioned Date with an Angel. In the interview, Curse Two, the main critter. No, excuse me, Critters Two, the main course. Church guard, actor. This is the acting he did. Date with an angel was oldish man in church. The Black Hole, Semi Night Disney with you. Yvette Mumu, Anthony Perkins, and who else? That's a good one. I haven't seen that long. I have to watch it again. Uh, Joseph Bottoms. That's not who's Ernest Borgnine. Yeah, and Roddy McDowell. Everybody knows him. Slim Pickens. I just saw his name earlier on something. One of my movies, now I forget. I was showing Nick when my friend Nick was here. We were watching From Beyond this to record an 86 sci fi horror thriller. We watched it. It's a really good one. We watched it. I'm a big fan of Stuart Gordon. I'm at the Horror High, I think, in 11. 2011. I have to look at that for sure. I forget. But he signed my dolls DVD, the MGM DVD. Of the... I told him I was a big fan of OB Wilson, Brian, Ray Harry, Alice, Jim Danforth, with Dave Allen, all the stop motion stuff. and his the snatchy so horror movies, some of the gore ones that are naturally scary to have well those ones aren't just gory for the sake of gore they got stuff in them there you go with this tape again he was a writer on Friday of course one dark night date with an angel I said that written on so Friday 13th TV series I remember that three episodes when I was a kid, I thought it was the movie, and I'm like, "What is this?" And it was, I thought it was good, and I watched it, but I was just disappointed. It wasn't any of the movies with, you know, with Jason Voorhees in it? Yeah. Let me see what else he directed. There's 40 credits. Mike Dark Knight's his first movie. He said he got the idea for these corpses in the catacombs of France and those buried bodies and entombed in the walls, and he said that he got the idea to make this movie and we'll get more into the, some of the particulars about the corpses and stuff when they show them later. We're gonna see. They're gonna try to sneak in there and scare her. No, my brother never tells me nothing. I think they made that pledge stay in there and then they stuck in later through that broken window. So did you date with an angel, like I said, he said he directed that, yeah. One dark night for I think it's part six Jason lives. 
87 date with an angel. We know 82 is 139, Jason is 86, and then Freddy's Nightmare, TV series, one episode, 88. Friday 13, TV, four episodes directed. The Stephen Banks Show, TV 91, sometimes they come back, TV 91, Child's Name, TV miniseries, two episodes. Yeah, she seems to have illusions. And shit, and all fucked up, that's why they gave her that on purpose. I remember that. I love this music, I love this 80s stuff. It's a, I wish I was alive then, or in, like this age, and dating these chicks, and just, just good memories. And, like I, but I watch it's like I travel in any of these movies, even the black and white, like a tight time travel. Like I was alive in that period. It's just I put myself into the. If I was there, like you're watching it then or in the movie, even maybe to a degree, it depends on the circumstances. Yeah, I remember this. She's all pissed off. And <clears throat> she won't, she doesn't want to go with him. She's it's ridiculous. She's trying to do that, that length of scare and go back here. Of course she's going to say, Kitty's a real sister. They got those purple jackets. I think there's only one left of them. That's the one they were Watson's fighting over in Evans. Nancy Watson, Carol Evans. I mean Robin Evans who plays Carol, excuse me, Robin Evans. Walk down on that tunnel all by herself. All those lights and say he's John was saying. Can't do that now. I hit you pick you up and might fucking rape you or something. Some hitchhiker might they might try to rob you. Who knows? It's just like Tom McGoff said you can't get hitchhiking. Rides, you don't know who's driving that car and Michael Schroeder was saying that too. <laughs> 